Thank you very much. So I'll give a quick intro to myself first before we kind of head into the topic. So um, my name is Cassie. I'm part of the Grad Ireland team and have been so for just over two years now. I work closely alongside graduate employers and students and I get to speak to students such as yourselves about what we do here at Grad Ireland. And basically we get to connect you with graduate employers through our online platform and through the events that we host throughout the year as well. So we're sort of kind of like the middle uh, party between the two if you will, if that makes sense. So we'll kind of dive straight into it then and I'll share my screen one second. Bear with me now. So you guys can let me know when you can see my screen and then I will dive into it. Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, Cassie. Brilliant. So, as I said, I am part of the Grad Ireland team um, and I'm going to give you a quick intro into what we actually do at Grad Ireland just before I dive into the topic of the careers fair itself. So, so at Grad Ireland, what do we do? So, we provide a wide range of information around all things graduate related. So, graduate schemes, jobs, internships, um, open opportunities, etc. So, um, you can find any information about all this stuff on our Grad Ireland platform. Um, we also provide comprehensive careers advice around the actual journey between coming, becoming a graduate and then a graduate employee. So how to get from point A to point B. And we offer a variety of careers advice tools, such as our publications. And then, of course, why we're here today and what we're here to talk about. We host a variety of events throughout the year, such as the Grad Ireland Careers Fair. OK, so. What I'm going to run through with you guys today in regards to the careers fair is why you should be attending events such as this and like why it's important for you guys to attend these fairs, what you can get out of it, how you can prepare um, leading up to the day of the fair. So what you can do to make sure you're fully equipped um, in the lead up to the fair and you're ready to go um, from the get go and then what to expect on the day itself. So I'll bring you through the actual event itself. So. Reasons to attend the careers fair. OK, so first and foremost, the face to face interaction that you get with leading employers, you can't really get elsewhere. And um, we there'll be over 100 employers there on the day from sectors of factor background, sector backgrounds, excuse me, of all shapes and sizes. And um, so the face to face interaction you gain here with these employers, it's a really great opportunity for you guys to um, ask important questions, have really um, significant conversations with them and leave a lasting impression, most importantly, with these employers. You have access to exclusive live seminars on the day. So we host seminars throughout the um, throughout the um, entirety of the day. So which cover loads of topics such as um, how to succeed in an interview and um, how to improve your CV. Um, historically, a head of actually hosts um, seminars at our events, which kind of circulate the topics of adversity and you know how to maneuver throughout the um, uh, graduate employment world um, in regards to disability, etc. Um, as well as this, you're able to get your CV reviewed and looked at at our very own CV clinic. So on the day, you can um, book a slot with one of our CV experts and they can um, bring you through what to include in your CV, what not to include in your CV. And um, you can ask any questions you want regarding your CV to these experts and they will most definitely have the answer for you. And then, of course, the very obvious point, you're able to check out the hundreds of roles and opportunities that are waiting for you guys um, there. And then on the day, you can ask as many questions as you want um, to these employers around these roles. OK, so how to prepare for the careers fair itself. So on the slide, we have students um, looking at the jobs wall that we have present at all our careers fairs that kind of just give you insight to every single role that's available through the employers that we work with. OK, so how to prepare for the careers fair, first and foremost. Um, so on the day, um, leading up to the day, sorry, it's very important to do your research, okay? And come prepared in the day, first and foremost. Um, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So this ensures you get the very most and the best out of your day and you're spending your time effectively and efficiently. So what do I mean by research? So find out which company is it going? How can I do this? I can do this by keeping an eye on the Grad Ireland platform. If you keep an eye on the Careers Fair page on our platform, you can see what employers have um, signed up to attend on the day. Pick out the employers that you think are the most relevant to you, that you think that you want to work with in the future, and do a bit of research on them. Do a bit of research on what they do and what are the candidates that they're looking for. And this allows you to ask really um, 
intelligent questions and it also gives you a little bit more confidence um, with talking to these employers because you feel like you're a little bit more prepared going into these conversations. Um, express your skills, your accomplishments, the goals that you're hoping to achieve in the future in a clear, concise manner when talking to these employers. Um, have your CV updated or even updated on the day at the CV clinic, like I said previously. So have your CV either ready to go or ready to be updated. And then you can discuss your CV with these employers. Bring a pen and paper, very importantly, to make sure that you take notes in the day. Um, or perhaps maybe your notes app on your phone, your tablet, if this is what you're more comfortable with. Either or, that's okay. If there's a member of staff that you guys um want to chat with in particular, maybe a HR manager, maybe a talent acquisition manager, maybe make sure to have their name and do a bit of research on them, look on LinkedIn, et cetera. This way you can request to chat to them on the day. If they're not available, that's okay. That happens a lot. They mightn't be there in the day. There might be a colleague there instead. There'll always be somebody there to chat to at the stand that'll be able to give the answers that you're looking for, okay? So that's how to prepare, okay? So what to expect on the day itself, okay? So the slide that we're looking at now, it's a bird's eye shot basically of the Grad Island Careers Fair from last year um, of the RDS. You can see there's lots of stands there. There's lots of students and graduates there chatting to employers about, you know, open opportunities about their companies, et cetera. So on the day, you arrive there, you arrive with the RDS Dublin and you pop in at the registration desk is usually situated just the main entrance. You'll be asked to sign in. It's usually a QR code that you that you that they scan on the way in that they have ready on your phone. That's usually the way it goes. You'll be given a free program. This program contains a map of the RDS so you know how to maneuver yourself around the hall. Set yourself aside for a split second, look through the map and just kind of locate all the um, companies that you're hoping to talk to um, on the day. Now, stands may be super busy at some points. That's OK. It's OK to do a loop of the hall, kind of get your wits about you and kind of, you know, locate where all the stands are. And then you can always come back when it's a little bit quieter. The Grad Ireland Careers Fair does tend to be a little bit quieter towards the end, maybe the last hour and a half of the event. Might be, might be something to consider popping down maybe towards the end of the event. If you prefer a quieter environment, that's OK. So to accommodate attendees with impairment or disability as well, the RDS, which is the venue that we host the event at, has a flat floor surface all around. Stands are spaced apart in a way that there's sufficient room to, to manoeuvre yourself around the hall. There are disabled toilet facilities and venue entrance as well. And should anybody need to pop upstairs for any reason, there is a lift. If we're notified of a deaf attendee as well, it's important to know that an interpreter, interpreter can be arranged very, very easily. So... Now you're at the careers fair, you're speaking to graduate employers, the day is finally kicked off. OK, so make sure, first and foremost, that you get the name and position of the people that you're talking to at each stand. If there's somebody that you're interested in talking to, you know, at a future date, say, for example, I pop into AIB stand and I'm speaking to Emma, I get her name and her position. So I know that in a week's time, if I want to contact her and say, I really enjoyed the conversation that we had, maybe we could set up another chat. Maybe we could talk more about that open role you're talking about. I have her details, so I'm able to go back and I'm able to reach out to her, contact her and continue the conversation, okay? If the person that you're talking to is working in an area that's not particularly there you're interested in, that's okay. Request and ask them if they have a name of the person that is responsible for hiring graduates in the sector that you're interested in being hired in, okay? Ask lots and lots of questions. That's really important as well. It's also really important to know that there's no such thing as a silly question. These people, um, come, the people that the employees that attend these events that man these stands, talk to graduates month on month, year on year, week on week, day on day. They've heard everything under the sun. There's no such thing as a silly question. Ask, ask, ask. If you don't ask, you won't find out. They're always very lovely and very accommodating as well. So um, make sure to note and make notes of your discussions after the discussions that you have, just so you can kind of go back and revisit your notes, maybe at the end, maybe in a week's time. And um, that's very important. And don't expect to be offered jobs there and then at the fair. That's not what this is about. This is about chatting to these employers and, you know, discovering um, what's out there and discovering opportunities, etc. Also, leave your interview suit at home. OK, so employers don't expect you to be dressed up to the nines. Um, you don't have to come in in your three-piece suit. You don't have to come in your, in your dress and your heels and your skirt, etc. It's a good idea to be dressed in smart casual, you know, have, have a nice outfit on, be well put together, etc. There's no need to be bringing your heels or your three-piece suit to the day, okay? Um, so also, um, after the fair, 
it's important. This is this sometimes is overlooked, and there is follow up needed after the fair in the sense. If there's any sort of conversations that you guys had with employers that you found particularly interesting that you wanted to learn more about, but just unfortunately on the day was a bit busy or there was other employers that you needed to get around to, that's okay. You can always follow up these employers. That's why it's important to get contact details if you feel like you'll be you'll want to contact them at a future date. Okay. So follow up is very important, and overlooked. Restate your interest in the graduate positions that you're talking to these to these um employers about. And then suggest maybe you'd like to have a, a chat in the future about it. Okay. This shows um the employers that you know you actually are interested in the roles, you're interested in you've made the effort to follow up, you've made the effort to reinstate your interest. Okay. Um and yeah, that's that's pretty much the follow-up to the day and the run through to the event. Um I'm more than happy to answer any questions as well that you guys may have around this too. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much everything for me in regards to the event itself.